Ten years ago, for the 30th anniversary of the Mount Erebus disaster, Air New Zealand's chief executive at the time, Rob Fife, made an apology of sorts to the families of the Erebus victims. Sorry to all of those who suffered the loss of a loved one or were affected by the Erebus tragedy and did not receive the support and compassion they should have from Air New Zealand. But something else happened at the 30th anniversary that had never happened before. Families were given the opportunity to go to the crash site to pay their respects. Pippa Collins, the second youngest daughter of pilot Jim Collins and Maria Collins, was one of those chosen to represent their family. Once the chance had come up, um, I suddenly realised that it, it, was, it was something that I really wanted and needed to do. One of the others to make the trip with Pippa Collins was Phil Keenan, whose sister Diane, a flight steward, pictured here with James Lewis, who also died at Erebus, went on the trip thanks to the kindness of strangers. My name wasn't drawn out of the hat, but uh, there was another family who kindly, whose family member did manage to uh, uh, be one of the lucky six that were drawn out of a hat and she said to the Air New Zealand people uh, look um, Philip Keenan and his family never had their loved one uh, return to them uh, we were fortunate enough uh, to have uh, our son and brother return to us uh, so would it be okay if I gave my ticket to Philip Keenan Pippa Collins secretly wondered whether the others on the trip might somehow still blame her father for the crash. On the first night that we were together, there were um, a couple of members of the group who came up to me individually um, to say that they didn't hold Dad responsible for the accident, and they never had. And that was very unexpected, and it was um, it was a very um, it was it was a a generous thing to communicate to me. And so they all flew down to Antarctica together, unclear about what they would see and unsure how they would feel about the cold, lonely place where their family members had all died. I was taken up to the flight deck and uh, it was just the most incredible scene because that was as close as I could possibly get to really what Dad would have been seeing on that flight. And um, it was pretty overwhelming. Phil Keenan enjoyed the experience more than he was expecting. And it wasn't until halfway through the experience that the emotion hit him. I was given a poem uh, by my sister's good friend. Uh, she wanted to take it down and I remember reading out that poem and that uh, uh, that became quite an emotional time but most of us, uh, it got pretty raw at that stage. On the trip, after talking to people who had been part of the body recovery operation, Phil Keenan discovered that his family's belief that his sister's body was still down a crevasse at the crash site probably wasn't true. Whether she was uh, taken, you know, was uh, just couldn't pass being able to be identified and was just one of those people that were body parts that were, you know, buried out in uh, Waikamiti, uh, we, we'll never know. So it's hard to know, there's no, not any the place that you could go or say with some degree of certainty that this is where she is. So that's always going to be an issue. Pippa Collins had brought something from home to take to the crash site. I had um, brought with me some uh, some sand from Matapuri Bay, which was where we had um, we'd spent uh, our summers every year as a family and continue to do that actually. Um, and Dad had loved it there, and so um, my sister had had, uh, had a vial of sand um, blessed by local iwi. 
But perhaps the biggest reveal for Pippa was seeing for herself how whiteout works. That something as big as Mount Erebus can suddenly disappear. We were standing outside um, Scott Base and I'd had a photo taken of me with Erebus in the background the day before and then the following day I was having a look at the same, the same spot to take another photo and Erebus had disappeared. But interestingly it wasn't because there was a whole lot of cloud around, it because the day itself was beautiful and there was maybe a bit of high cloud but visibility wasn't impaired and yet the mountain that had been there the day before had gone with other landmarks clearly still visible. And, um, and for me, the trip to the Antarctic was worth it just for that experience. I'm Gary McAlpine, and this is Erebus, Flight 901, Litany of Lies.